Well, I don't know if we've accomplished everything we wanted to, we set out, and that was because of a lot of uh, uh, circumstances beyond our control. But, uh, you know, we started last last spring and, and really wanted to get a better job at the EIWA tournament, really kind of you know, jump in the, in the, in the rankings uh, as far as how we ended the season. And that was going to take a lot of effort from, from you know, top to bottom. Um, I don't think we did that as a team. And, and uh, you know, I don't think we had our full team, you know, by the end of the year. But uh, I do think we, we another major part of our goal is to get guys at the national tournament and have a place. And I think, you know, anytime we're competing at the highest level, uh, that just that's a credit to the program. It's a credit to people involved in the program. And, um, you know, in that sense, I think we did that. I felt we got two guys to the Nationals and, and uh, you know, Walter placing eighth uh, really kept us going, you know, as far as All-Americans. So there are some other things that, that we need to do academically. I think we're, we're right on target. Last year we were number one GPA in the country, and I think uh, I would be shocked if we weren't again this year as far as, you know, how the athletes are doing in the classroom. So that's a, a big, uh, big goal of our program. Uh, you know, how, how they handle themselves in the community is a, another huge uh, aspect of our program, and, and they've done amazing things from, from uh, beginning to end. So, in fact, this, this recently got uh, had a community service project on Saturday, so um, they continue to do that. So uh, I really am very proud of them, how they handled themselves, uh, how they went through face adversity, uh, and really, you know, did a nice job, really put us in a position to kind of dream a little bigger for next year. Uh, you know, th th this year we had an, enough people to, to step up. In the past, we, we, we didn't have enough people to really put in positions. This year, I was really proud of a lot of people. You know, Fermi Mendez, who, who really has been, um, through all the years he's been with us, has done anything I've asked him to. And, and he, he uh, w there was a hole at 141, and he, he bumped up and wrestled there all year. Um, Panzano uh, was a 174 pounder, and we, we lost our 197 pounder, and didn't have didn't have enough bodies up there. And he was the first to come to me and said, you know, you want to put some weight on and, and jump up two weight classes for for the team. And he did it all year, and, and was really you know crucial in, in two of our wins against Princeton and Army, and, and had big wins against those. And, and now you know it's those that's kind of things. Eric Gobo, you know, really was a freshman and. and uh, at the end of the year, I ended up seeing you know an opportunity to wrestle 165 pounds. Jumped in, and and I felt he made the biggest jump in the last three weeks of the season, just because he had an opportunity. Uh, so we had guys that really saw an opportunity and, and uh, took it as a, an opportunity to really you know get into the role of, of you know varsity wrestler and, and, and helping the team. And I think that's going to really pay dividends. It shows shows the rest of the team that uh, you know if we pull it together, it's it, it's more of a team. Than uh, an individual, you know, sport. So uh, that was uh, I was I was real proud about that this year. Um, my passion is leadership development. And I, I I just feel, especially at, especially at Harvard, I feel that um, you know we get great leaders from from other wrestling programs and, and the, the, this this whole schools uh, surrounded with leaders. Um, but I just feel that when, when when we get great leaders, we have to develop them. We have to make them better. And, and uh, you know, I think that only makes makes your program better. Walter and Andrew did did a great job. Really, they're very, two very passionate people. And I f it feels you really have to be passionate to be a great leader. And, and um, you know, they care about themselves, but they care more about their team, and they care about the, the guys in the team and making sure they're doing the right things. And, and uh, really proud. I think they've come a long way. Uh, I was really happy that Andrew had an opportunity to come back for another year after his injury and, and give him an opportunity to be a leader of this team. And, and uh, you know, I, I, he definitely dis didn't disappoint. Uh, Walter has a couple more years, which I, I think is huge because once once someone has one year under their belt, they, they their next couple years are, are just tremendous growth opportunities for them to really kind of learn the ropes and, and, and the you know, the bigger uh, issue is, is what are you going to do post-graduation and, and you're going to go out and do bigger and better things and they have this experience here to, to lead your peers I think it's it's tremendous so uh, we put a lot of effort into it uh, you know but I also have uh, I also have great great individuals to deal with you know great great leaders that I that are that we come that come to the program right away so um, you know it's it's kind of easy on our part okay so the, the, there's I think there's a lot of positives um, you know, throughout the season, and it's just such a long season, and, and we go through so much. I feel, you know, you know, starting at 125, Stephen Keith had a real difficult year. I thought he was losing some matches that he probably could have won. He was, you know, was uh, battling his weight, and 
uh, it just wasn't uh, wasn't the season he had last year. And um, last year he, he turned it on to East EIWA tournament uh, and placed third when he was unseated and went to nationals. And we were we were kind of hoping for the same thing. And the last week of the year he uh, he beat the Cornell wrestler who was ranked tenth in the country and and, uh, and did the same thing in the Eastern tournament. He had a great Eastern tournament, I felt. And, uh, ended up beating the Princeton guy who pinned him twice uh, the last two times. So really made a turnaround, and, and that, that really shows, you know, a, a lot of, you know, making sure that we, we train for the EIW tournament and, and train for the end of the year. And he really put that uh, the, rest of the, the rest of the season behind him and, and, and kind of focused on that. That was huge. And, um, you know, getting Shea Warren back at 133 this year was, was big. He, Shea uh, was a freshman three years ago and, and took a, a two-year mission. Uh, came back this year, and, and, and it took him a little bit to get the rust off. But man, he he started wrestling well towards the end of the year, and uh, you know, placed at the IWA tournament. And, and if it wasn't for a fluke pin, I thought he could have done even higher. Um, you know, been in for third and fourth, which is exciting. You know, I, and I, uh, he's got two more years with us, and, and uh, a, a very quiet leader, but a strong leader. Uh, and I'm anxious to have him, you know, kind of b back in the program a little bit. And, you know, and. Uh, we had freshmen step up, which was which was great. I love having freshmen step up because that, that just gets them gets them hungry for the next coming years. I think we had a great class. You know, people like uh, Cameron Croy did a great job. Had a nice season. Ian Roy, uh, you know, at, at 174, you know, also had some big wins and, and really started coming into his own. Um, like I mentioned, uh, Eric Goble before stepping up. Um, so that was neat to see. You know, some young guys really get in the mix. Um, you know, I think Andrew, you know, Andrew Knapp coming back for a fifth year and placing in the IW uh, tournament was a it was very happy. I was very happy about that. And he had a, a devastating knee injury last year and, and took the second semester off and came back for a fifth year and he didn't have to do that. And and uh, but he wanted to he wanted to be he wanted to lead the team and he wanted to have another year of college wrestling and and I was really happy to have him go out you know placing in the IW tournament. So I felt the team handled adversity well. Uh, it's always a a character test, you know, on how you handle adversity. I, I think um, can we do better? Absolutely, and I, I think we're going to keep doing better. But there's a lot of positives we can take away, and, and I think um, it's going to springboard us. We're going to have a, we've already started in the spring, and, and you know, for training, and then really focusing on what we want to do for next year.